Mess. This is my channel. Hope you enjoy my vids, my reviews for my movies, or just my TikTok compilations that I got on my TikTok profile. All right, if you want to subscribe, hit that notification bell, subscribe, like, share my videos. You know how we do. Let's build up our community, okay? Stay strong. Be a messers until I find a good. Oh, be a mess nation. You like BMS Nation better? Let's do it, BMS Nation. All right? That's my community, the BMS Nation. If you're part of that. All right? Click below. Details should be right below. Thank you. So basically, I'm Biz Media Studios. How you doing, guys? And um, my review today is gonna be Big Stan, Rob Schneider. Okay. Let me pull up the details and let's talk about it. What do you wanna talk about, YouTube? What do you wanna talk about, YouTube? Anyway, let me go get the details right now as we speak, and we're gonna we're gonna really get into this because uh, this movie is good. Okay, okay, let's start off with where you can watch it, okay? Tubi for free. Voodoo for free. YouTube, $9.99. Google Play Movies and TV, $9.99. Apple TV, $9.99. Amazon Prime Video, $9.99. All right, let's get into the ratings. IMDB, 6.1 out of a 10. Voodoo, they have a scoring system too. I didn't know that. 4.2 out of 5. 11% of Rotten Tomatoes. Are you freaking serious? 11%? 11%. You gave this movie 11% on, on Rotten Tomatoes. Who works there? Who works at Rotten? Wait, I'm, I'm pissed off. Who's... I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start sending emails. This movie was solid scenes of action. That's why you can't hire people that know, don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. They put the wrong pe people in positions. Like, what is up with that? This guy must have been scratching his butt, or he just like some type of tra trailer park person. I don't know who he is, but whoever did this, um, maybe maybe he's pregnant. You know, pregnant with gas or whatever, and he just like upset with himself. I, I mean, I know I'm not skinny, but I'm working on it at least, shit. I, you know, I. I take care of you know, myself. I, I'm prideful, you know? I eat vegetables and fruits. You know, not only sweets and cakes and all that, but you know, like, come on now. Drink a lot of soda. He probably, probably drinks a lot of soda. Three liters, by the three liters. That's the, one three liter of soda for him is like a cup. <laughs> a cup for me. All right, anyway. So let's get into the bio, right? Stan is convicted. He's a convicted con man, right? He headed for jail. He is frying and visits a martial arts expert to improve his feeble fighting skills. Okay, why would you write that? Who's writing on Google, man? Who's, who's hiring these people? His feeble fighting skills. What the, what the hell are you talking about? Will, will Stan master the moves and fend off his inmates? Oh, boy. All right, the release date is June 6, 2007 in the United States of America. Director Rob Schneider. You go, boy. I like him. He's a good actor. Screenplay by Robert Schneider and Josh Lieb. Music by John Hunter. And there's another John. John Den Debney. They made the themes. So two Johns wrote the themes. Oh, my God. Distributed by HBO, Sony Pictures, from and Home Entertainment. Who the hell is this? Film Flex. Film Master Flex is doing films now? Anyway, let's just go continue. Box office, $8.7 million. I don't know if he made profit or not, because I don't know the budget. Um, David Carradine, he's the master. Yeah, I, I used to watch him in a show back in the days, and he used to be he used to be like a kung fu master in that one as well. I think he hung himself. He died. He committed suicide. He castrated himself and hung himself. I don't know. That means he cut his thing off, and then he just hanged. Anyway. Rob Schneider, he plays Big Stan. Carradine plays the, the master. Jennifer Morrison plays Mindy Minton. Henry Gibson plays Shorts. 
Scott Wilson plays Warden Gask. The guy with the long hair, he plays Jack, uh, the actor is Jackson Rathbone, and he plays Robbie. Richard King plays Maul, okay? All right, we got that out of the way now. Now it's time for me and my thoughts. Listen, I'm getting tired of doing these reviews, but not because I'm doing it in my portion, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, to talk to you about, uh, guys about this. So, give me a second, guys. So, um, this is what it is. I'm tired of looking up things, stats on Google, and there are dumb people who are working for these companies that doesn't know what they're talking about. Why you gave it 11%? Who's what? Who found it to be 11%? Because I know it wasn't a bunch of people because that's entertainment. Like, who, who? What is going on here? But you want to give the Batman the best scores possible out of here. And the Batman is straight garbage. What is going on here? Whether, you know, this is not like this. Everything's going to crap, you know? Anyway, the, the, fight scenes are, the fight scenes are solid. It's good action, good storytelling, good highs up and downs, you know, in the movie. But it's good. Overall, it's good. The way he picks up how to fight, a little co it's comedy in there. It's funny, man. It's funny. It's a good movie. It's, it's supposed to be comedy. Uh, maybe the people that, 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 you know, rated it, they probably don't like humor. They probably don't like to be around people. I don't know. They're probably just miserable, you know? They probably don't watch movies. They're probably like, oh, that's what, you know, they probably just decided to review this movie and give it 11% just because they don't watch movies. I don't know. I don't know. But they're not doing it right. They're not doing it based off entertainment. If the story's good and it meets, it checks off your, you know, a couple of boxes. As long as you're entertained and engaged in the movie, you should be fine. But that's what's going on with these people. Anyway. Uh, give me a second. But Rob Schneider, when he picked, you know, when, when he uh, learned the martial arts, he was really badass with it, you know? He was uh, doing his thing. He broke a wood with his finger. I mean, that's badass, okay? You gotta get props where it's due. Um, you know, the people in the jail were kind of weird and a little fruity. I just wanna say that. They were a little too close to each other. They would, one scene that really got me, that kind of got me a little squeam, squeamish, it was when they were drinking from the toilet bowl. That was, I was done with that. Like, why are you drinking from the toilet bowl? I know it's prison, but there's nothing in out here is going to make me drink from a damn tur a toilet bowl that was in prison. You know how much germs is there? I don't care how many times you threw Clorox in that toilet bowl. Clean out. Get the hell out of here with that. Whew. Uh... My email is J-O-E-Y-B-I-G-G-S-2-2-A-4 at gmail.com. J-O-E-B-I-G-G-S-2-2-A-4 at gmail.com. Comment below if you want me to do other reviews based on what you like. My TikTok is at Bix Media Studios. B-I-G-G-S. M-E-D-I-A. S-T-U-D-I-O-S. Again, B-I-G-G-S. M-E-D-I-A. S T U D I O S. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Peace. Take care.